Yeah, there's a new uh, there's a new backrooms video that dropped. But yeah, I'm excited for this. What a beautiful sunny day. I thought this was meant to be LA. Now you can see Tfue just recording his uh his video to release the phase contract somewhere. Guys, release the contract, guys. Stop being so cringe. Make the camera smaller. Does that work? Does this work, guys? Is is if it's too big, I can make it smaller. Someone said it's too big. No, I got you, bro. There we go. Okay. Do, do, does this work? I just want to make sure that you can see my reaction to someone else's work. Someone putting all this time and effort in and I just get to soy face. Someone's saying too big. Okay, I think you're pushing it now a little bit, buddy. Once again, I want to thank you all for coming in on such short notice. I'll go ahead and skip the pleasantry since we're pressed for time to get right to the point. Remember that- Is this subtitles? I, I like to have subtitles on because my brain is rotted. It's over. This is only auto-generated. I can't watch it. It's unwatchable. Any and all information shared during this briefing is considered confidential. It should be treated as such until further notice. Okay, you can definitely tell it's 3D now. It still looks really good. Approximately 43 hours ago, three members of a research team from a classified organization were involved in an incident that caused them to momentarily lose radio contact and become separated from the rest of the squad. The this looks crazy. What what program are they using? Like it looks, it doesn't look realistic. It's obviously stylized, but like it's all, it's got all the little facial movements and stuff. Cause, cause usually like to get facial movements right and to not make it look uncanny, it's so difficult. This footage. Also, is that guy Hudson from Call of Duty? Surely, surely I'm not the only person to say that, right? That is definitely Hudson from COD. <laughs> Discrepancy during the signing, but they managed to get everyone's signature in the end, so. All right. Well, that's good to hear. Do you know roughly when it'll go into effect? Probably sometime next week, but the details are kind of. <laughs> no, they no clipped! They no clipped! Can you hear me? It's over! Nathan! Jason! They got dragged to the admin. RDM. Can hear me? Isaac, this is standard. What's going on? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. My, me and my team, we're just walking and they just... I, 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 I don't know. They just fell through the fucking floor or something. Please, please send help. I, can't, I think I lost contact with them. They're not responding. I think they might be dead. I, they are definitely okay, dead. Isaac, just stay calm, all right? We'll send someone down there and try to figure out what's going on and help you out, okay? Just, just stay perfect. Lethal Company Walkie Talkie. No, because they'd be screaming slurs or like speaking Polish or something. Okay. Oh, okay, got it. Guys! Guys, can you hear me? Guys! Oh my god. <laughs> this is what became of the researchers. We're not exactly sure how or why this happened. This just breaks our current understanding of science and physics. Experts in the field have their theories and ideas on how this could be possible. However, nothing definitive yet. Although, something you may be familiar with is the recent spike in missing persons cases as of late. Uh, is some believe that they might be related in some way based on the reports, citing a very similar set of circumstances and events transpiring. Whatever the case- Someone said Agent 47. Bro! Do you know who Hudson is? It's literally the same. I mean, look at that. Like you're telling me that that is not the same person. That is the first thing that came to my mind was seeing Hudson from Cod. Case may be, we have confirmed that the team depicted in this footage managed to survive the fall. It's Jeff Bezos. Nah, there's, there's no super. He's not talking about his super yacht. An emergency distress beacon was activated roughly 70 yards northeast from the drop off point. That puts them around here which tells us there's likely some kind of underground structure beneath what the company now refers to as Hallway 1138. Based on the depth data of the beacon, we estimate them to be 
anywhere between 20 and 50 feet below the surface. Yeah, the animation's really weird. It, it, it's it's like it's uncanny a little bit, but in like a good way. The body movements and like the, the lip movement is like a little bit exaggerated. Do you think they wore mocap suits to animate this? It looks like a, a Russian badger video with some of the movements, right? And that guy has like a 20k mocap suit. So it might it might be mocap suits and then they hand animated the rest. Surface. And we're absolutely sure they're still alive down there. Is it possible the beacon tripped off on its own? In addition to the beacon, we've recently managed to regain brief but very sporadic radio contact with the team. We've confirmed they're alive, but two of the members are severely injured and incapacitated from the fall. Unfortunately, our contact- You can mocap with VR? Yeah, I know. That's exactly what a uh, Russian badger does. With the team is too unstable and it's virtually impossible to establish but it is almost like they've mo-capped everything but they're doing like kind of exaggerated you know when you're told to like do something and you're not like an actor so you kind of like overdo something it, it, it's like when i was doing the entropy zero irl scenes with the mask on I, i'd like i'd purposely exaggerate my, my movements and stuff any kind of beneficial communication well wait if they're incapacitated then why aren't they still at the base of the drop i mean why even move at all we're still unsure. Although I'm sure- You know the worst thing is about this video? Sorry, I know I know, I keep cutting off. I just don't want to be a react dandy and just like sit here in silence. But this, this rem I think it is Blender or something because it reminds me of a- uh... Has anyone seen this video? It's actually cinema. Now the problem is if I show this video on stream, it's going to completely kill the atmosphere for this video. But this is, this is what it's reminding me of. Okay, I'm going to play it. Fuck it. But this is- if you haven't seen this video, it is pure cinema. I've definitely reacted to this before on stream, but I'll do it again. Mr. Incredible gets blasted by a JDAM. What's a JDAM? It's a kind of missile, right? <laughs> Joint direct attack ammunition. <laughs> uh, okay. You gotta you guys gotta watch this. <laughs> no. Hey Bob, how's your wife? I already told you she's dead. Mr. Incredible, you're fired for pouring radium in my coffee. No. Please follow me to my office. No. Uh, shut up, Marge, shut up. <laughs> I can't take this seriously. I can't take this seriously now. I can't, they've used the same animation program. Yeah, this is the backrooms video, guys. What's your problem, idiot? Life is an endless abyss with no purpose. We are all bored to slave away for nothing and then we die in complete agony forever. Listen here, Bob. Here at the scam call center, we can pray. What do you mean brain rot? This came out like a year before TikTok. You can't say brain rot. This came out three years ago. Sorry, the crabs. <laughs> There's a robot destroying the crap city outside. Bob! Well, that smells. <laughs> Here's mate, if you need anything else, just message me or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how Podal does it, man. It's like, it's because okay, a little bit of backstory. Podal uh, used to do a channel called Blazing Scrubs, and he used to do MLG videos like I did. But his videos were so bad on purpose. They had like 700 layers of irony. So like, if you go back and watch my MLG videos, they suck. They're, they're, they're just awful. It's like an actual 12 year old made them. But if you go back and watch his videos, well, Blazing Scrubs was two people. It was uh, Sindre, who was Norwegian, and it was Marco, who's British, or like British Italian. And like, they're, like the, the humor they had was operating on so many levels of irony that it is still watchable today. No. No. Like you can hear just like in the background, just the people going like, no. Like he would just literally record Discord calls and just use random sound bites. I'm overweight. Previously on these days. He'd always do that as well. He'd always use, uh, he'd always use like sound effects of like people fighting on a bus and stuff in the UK. After a law enforcement sting operation went horribly 
<laughs> I'm from Amsterdam. Um. So good, man. <laughs> What's wrong with my humor? My humor's actually rotted, bro. If imagine if all the little TikTok Zoomy kids found out about like this kind of humor, it'd be over. Sorry, my crap music was too long. I smell like wet metal. So, John, who is Mr. Incredible? Born in Rainbag, Germany, Mr. Incredible oh. is the ultimate Dutch it's superhero. So, it's so 150 good. 150 kilograms of pure muscle. He looks gorgeous and smells amazing. I have no doubt he will punch that robot in his stupid face. Warning, actual Mr. Incredible may not look accurate. Piss off. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he didn't even render it, lazy bastard. He didn't even render it. Uh, I don't know how he did it. It must be some kind of like magical autism where you just understand comedic timing perfectly. Like everything, every joke lands. I don't understand it. But also you need to have like a certain degree of brain rot to even like find it funny. This is better than the Cruelty Squad vid. Okay, you're getting timed out for that one. Okay, like th 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 this is a good video, but you're not saying that. You're not saying that on stream. Wait, what does it say on the side of it? Get a two for one at Sainsbury's week. <laughs> it's a National Express coach. If you know if you don't know what a National Express coach is, it's like where it's like a coach service in the UK, and it is like there is a 90% chance if you get on one, two people will end up fighting. I know exactly where he got that from as well. This guy's doing his fucking job. That's all Fuck off the bus. No. That's what I'm doing. Fuck off the bus. Frank Sinkowicz, who died early today at his home in Athens, was 70 degrees. Molly resident. We are KY3 Production, and we'd like the opportunity to visit. <laughs> National elections for the recently reunified. Murder me. Mate, can I borrow your pen? I don't. I feel. I feel like. I feel like I'm just laughing at a huge in joke right now, and it feels really bad. I feel like half the people watching this now are just like, like, just complete poker face. Like this is just the most unfunny thing. Like that. That was. You could hear Podel in the background. The guy that. The guy that runs the channel. Mate, can I borrow your pen? For the recently reunified. You. Mate, can I borrow your pen? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, can I borrow your pen? <laughs> Why is it so funny? I wish I was this funny. I just lost fifty billion dollars. I don't understand computers. Ah! Uh, I gotta pause to like laugh because I need to. I don't understand computers. It's definitely autism humor, right? Like, there's no, there's no way a normal person could actually watch this and like find it funny at all. Like, if I sat my parents down and showed them this, they would actually just be like, "No, nah, you need to get tested, bro. It's over for you." Um, hold on. Hey, boss, your wife called. I'm filing for divorce. <laughs> Was that just someone, just like an actual static model? He just. <laughs> no. Mr. Incredible. Shut up, citizen. <laughs> 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 I just get gunned. Literally just did like a default death animation and they added in like gunshots like she got shot. And th and then his incredible suit has a Primark logo on it. I don't understand how one, how I don't understand how someone can be this funny. Hey, my 
School again and got an F, mate. Do you fucking cut? Okay. Son, there aren't any jobs anyway. Go Stay away. Up. Yeah, yeah, that's the awful audio makes him. <laughs> Makes you fancy a cigarette. That was fucking crap. Nice. I saved the city. Now to go back to my office job for another 46 years, then die in some wet ditch in Iran. Also, I haven't paid my tax in 30 years and I swear like the a Spider Man logo. <laughs> I haven't paid my tax in 30 years and I smell like a dirty. Who <laughs> <laughs> uh, in Amsterdam says this? It's so, it's so good. It's so good. I really, I really recommend you go watch him. Like he would do so much old content because everything he did operated on like so many layers of irony. That it was actually still funny. I don't even know if I can play any of these because they might actually get copyright claimed. All right, let's go back. Oh, uh, I can't. Like, okay, I, I actually need to get immersed. I need to get immersed in uh, the back rooms now because I'm just, I'm, a I'm actually just gonna just start laughing at everything now. Watch the Spider-Man PS2 one. Oh my god. Okay, I might, I might, I might, I might. This is seven years ago. So if I laugh even once, it's completely stood the test of time. for work hex dx euro percent dd okay it's how i used to edit no i just stole it from him he was like he was literally the first person to start this this was this was he was like he was the one to start this whole kind of comedy and then I, I, I literally just stole it. I think already I might actually get a copyright claim. Please don't tell me it's... Okay, hopefully it's not all this music because I will get a copyright claim. Which really sucks. Oh god, this, this takes me back. Kill your driving instructor, but still. <laughs> okay. okay, I need to lock in now. We gotta watch back rooms. Bro, I can't even take this seriously now. I mean, why even move at all? We're still unsure. Although I'm sure they have their Ooh. reasons, it's hard to verify what exactly is going on down there. Regardless of their current whereabouts, our main objective will be to search the surrounding area and retrieve them back up to the surface. The plan is to locate the hazardous area and mark it off to be dealt with accordingly. You'll be equipped with a camera of your own to not only scout out the surrounding area underground, but also to document the entire mission. Once you've found the drop-off point and verified its safety, you will rope down to the bottom, locate the surviving members, and repel them back up to the surface. To do this, you'll be equipped with a grappling harness and motorized rope ascenders to assist you in repelling. Now, due to the hazardous nature of this facility, the air and surrounding environment isn't verified to be safe. In addition, we have a reason to believe that there may be an abnormal amount of surrounding pressure from the outside. To compensate for these conditions, you'll be equipped with prototype Mark III NBC hazmat gear. This will help withstand the extreme exterior okay, got, pressure got, from the outside the as well as keep out any potential contaminants. All right. It's crucial you treat the entire area as biohazardous, which means you're unauthorized to break your seal from the outside for the entire duration of this mission. We'll handle the research team and yeah, decontaminate the, the them once they've so been good. extracted and escorted it's back really to good. the facility's outpost. You'll also be equipped with standard Colt 723 carbines outfitted with flashlights to compensate for what we believe to be low light conditions. Flashlights will also be affixed to your helmets for added visibility. Why the guns? Should we expect resistance? Actually how much it's hard to say for sure. The There's an unlikely chance you might encounter- 
to potential hostiles after you've made your descent. However, I'm not allowed to get into the details of what that might be. Wait a second, you can't even tell us what we're up against? Due to the classified nature of this assignment, I'm only allowed to reveal what my superiors deem necessary. But rest assured, there's nothing down there you guys aren't equipped to handle. Could you imagine oh, well, being told you. that? I'm like, very assured now. Uh, we don't, we don't know what's down there. We, we can't tell you. Shoot assignment. This is a black operation. Everything is on a need-to-know basis, and there are even details about those that I'm not aware of. Everything is on a... Who does he look like? He looks like someone. I. He looks like an actor or something, right? Need to Who does he look like? Is, uh, am I having like a thing where... I like how it's just the life text next to him. Who does he look like? Graves, that's it. He looks like Graves from Cards. That's it, yeah. Oh yeah, they might have actually yoinked the model or something because he looks, he, yeah, he does look exactly the same, right? Yeah. Nah, he looks a little bit different. Yeah, it's the same hair as well. That's right. No basis and there are even details about those that I'm not aware of. Considering the team is still alive, it's pretty he safe to like assume that it's all clear down there. The weapons are merely a precaution. Trust me, if there was any tangible threat to the mission, you all would have been thoroughly informed about it. Now, if there's still a problem, we can always have someone replace your position. However, to those of you who stick around to get this done, the government will triple your rates and include a $500,000 bonus for each of you. Yeah, <laughs> oh, damn. Right. But with that said, there are of course conditions. As I mentioned previously, due to- I like how he is the one who was not happy about hearing that. He, he's the one who's going to survive this, guaranteed. To the classified Everyone else is going to die. And the he's going to be the only one that survives. It. This is considered a black operation. Nobody knows we authorized <laughs> this. You could say it's a black op. And nobody even knows this meeting is happening right now. It's in everyone's best interest to keep it that way. All information shared during this meeting. <laughs> he said it. It was the black ops we made along the way. Stays in this meeting and a gag order will be placed on all of you about the details of this operation after its conclusion. Trust me when I say you'll be surprised how quickly you'll be dishonorably discharged if word of this gets out to the public. All right, with all that said, are there any other questions? I mean, they wouldn't be discharged, they'd just Where be killed. Where exactly are we going? Oh yeah, it's set in the 90s, that's right. All the background right, stuff is super old. Looks like the camera's working fine. All right, good. What do you say the real thing was for? I think he said I could mount the camera to my helmet to free up my hands during the mission. Which, I mean, sounds great in theory, but we'll see how well it works. Okay, well, we shouldn't need you to set anything up, so you'll be on camera duty for now. Sounds good. It's crazy, like, w w with all the compression now from the video, it actually looks realistic now. I mean, some of the animations are a little bit off. But it, it actually looks realistic now because it's so like artifacted and compressed or whatever buzzword. Hey, are you guys the search and rescue team? There we are. All right. Well, my name's Robert. I'm the assistant supervisor. Follow me and I'll show you where we'll be heading out. Uh, first thing before you guys get started, uh, try and stick together as best you I can. I just ordered a We've already lost shirt. one of our guys that we got separated from his team. <laughs> Damn. I'm just losing all kinds of people in this place. Yeah, that seems to be the pattern as of late. But it's pretty easy to get lost, especially if you don't know where you're going or what you're looking at. Just as a baseline, if you see anybody or hear voices of any kind before you guys make your descent, don't follow it or try to interact with it in any way, shape, or form. Apart from our missing team, you guys should be the only ones out there right now, all right? So does that happen often or no? Well, no, not really. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't happen at all. Teams occasionally come back saying that they hear disembodied voices, but to be fair, that could be anything with how much noise that place creates. Ever since the disappearance of our after- How much noise the place creates? There's literally no noise apart from like the humming of the lights. Also, I like how he's giving the talk that like a, a, a parent would give to a child. Like, no, don't, don't, don't get in the back of that van now. Don't do that. There's no free candy. Mentioned researcher. We just tell everyone to ignore them as a baseline. But just because it's rare, doesn't mean it's not a precaution. Right, got it. All right, and I'm guessing based on the guns, you guys know about our little friend downstairs. Well, not exactly. For whatever reason, that was deemed as unnecessary information by our higher-ups. Huh, okay then. 
Well, as far as we know, he's MIA. I'm on the complete opposite side of where you guys will be heading. The entrance there is sealed up tight, so there's no chance he's getting out without us. Hunt down the it. voice acting. I, th I think the voice acting is really good. I think it's really 1138. competent. I don't know if you mentioned it being unlikely that you'd find anything down there, but considering the team's been down there for just about two days now, I think that's evidence enough that it should be pretty much clear. But yeah, definitely bring the guns. It's just a precaution. We're honestly probably going to start doing the same going forward. Right. All right, I think that should be everything. So just go just ahead and a bomb up on the go -kart. On the Don't mind me. We'll go ahead and drive you guys where you need to be. All right? Okay, then. Why do you just have people walking around the back rooms? It's like, no, none of it's safe. What? I know they charter it out, like, to mark safe zones and stuff, but still. I mean, that's crazy, though. Look, with, with the mask on and the, the low quality of the video, that actually looks realistic. Like, if you, if you sent that as a screenshot, I would believe that that is a real image. I, I know I sound like such a boomer on Facebook, but that, that's really good. Oh, Madeline's here. What's up? High road groomed me. So true. It only looks realistic in a still image. Yeah, yeah, because when they start moving and stuff, it looks a little bit, like, stilted, but... Okay, it's gonna be a sharp corners and tight hallways from here, so you'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Go ahead and mark off the edge on the drop-off point, and we'll handle it after you guys are done. We'll be on standby over here in case you guys need anything, all right? Okay, sounds good. All right, good luck, guys. So... Anybody want to take a guess on what the hell we possibly need with this place? Well, my guess would be storage of some kind. I mean, you guys saw the room. We what if they do the shoot. exact same thing they do, where they These just through the floor? Really go on what, what, why are they not checking the floor, by the way? They saw the video and saw that the entire team fell through the floor and they no clip through. Why are they not like... You know, the, you know the stick that blind people have? Why are they not just poking the entire floor, like, a, a, ahead of them? Forever. This would be a great place to store stuff in. And now with overpopulation being a major concern, we probably could even turn these into living areas or housing even. Housing in a hazardous foreign environment filled with threats they can't even tell us about? Yeah, I'm sure nothing could go wrong. You're still worried about that, aren't you? You know, I'm honestly surprised you guys aren't. I mean, am I the only one with their fucking head screwed on, right? Look at what's happening right now. We're walking into a military operation essentially blind about what we could even be fighting in a facility they can't tell us about for a fucking company they can't even tell us about. I don't give a shit if this is a- The faces actually look- I know they're not, but the faces look scanned. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen this game called Siren. Siren Blood Curse. And they did like a scan of an actor's face. It was kind of like LA Noir, but it was like a lot more limited at the time. Because it was like a, a PS2 game. And the faces like- They looked really uncanny because it was like a model. And it had like a 2D face of like actual images of someone that would change over time. It, it kind of looks a bit like that. Blackout. I've never been on a mission where they've kept information like that from us. Well, I'm sure there's a good reason we weren't informed about any of that. He mentioned information was on a need-to-know basis, and he brought up a good point about the team. If Wait, someone in chat told me to shut up. Hang on. I, I, I got you. Hang on. There you go. There was anything yeah, dangerous down there? Okay. I, I got you, fam. I got you, fam. Don't worry. Save. But I mean, it's just like Jack said. Why the guns? If it's an absolute certainty, then why even bother getting an armed search and rescue team? They've got nothing to hide, then why is any of this classified to begin with? I mean, seriously, they gotta be hiding something with all this fucking secrecy bullshit. Right now, I'm just praying we don't figure out about the hard way. All right, quiet. The meter just spiked. I think we're close. You getting anything? I mean, it's breathing like I'm right on top of it, but hold up. Oh, shit. I mean, even Found that, like, right that, like oh, that's shit. so yeah. risky. Why not just He's poke? Yeah, like a Go stick or something. Yeah. Or just like start second. throwing bricks or something. Section, this is Miller. We breached the drop-off point. I'm gonna go ahead and send the camera down and see what we got. Then we'll set up to make our descent. Over. Roger that. Good work. 
We'll try to notify the team that you're there, and we'll see if they're able to move in closer to Watch meet out. you guys at the bottom. Close. Going to try to make this trip as short as possible for everyone. Over. There's something really funny about the fact that, like, you've got this, you know, the entire world knows about the back rooms, or at least, like, the military, and they've got, like, this huge budget and stuff, right? To the point that each of these guys are getting paid half a mil just to go in there. And yet, they can only mark what's safe with literal tape. That's it. 10 for Keep us posted. All right, listen up. Unless you want to be rescued too, do not cross this line. Got it? Let's go ahead and what set up one of the lines here backwards? so we can send the camera down and That'd see exactly what we're dealing struts. with. Damn! It's pitch black down there. Well, jump down there. Let's see if we can fix that. Jump down there, pussy. Do it. Yep. Do it. Send jump it. down there. Holy shit. What? Um, I we are absolutely sure they're, they're still even alive, right? To to well, I mean, that's... The next year and half, I will see you bald. You will never see me bald. But we're here to find out, isn't it? How what the hell did they survive a fall like that? <laughs> Oh! Oh my god, Hudson! Hudson, don't fucking do that, you asshole! You do that again and I'm gonna throw your ass down there. I'm serious. Why, why is he being such a troll? Knock it off, both of you. Dude, like, you need to insert, like, some sneaky snitch there. He did he, he did quite a little bit of trolling there. Hudson, come on me and load this. Someone said $20 would make it interesting. Okay, do I need to look up right now? How much would a balloon trip around the world be? How much would it be? $60? Okay, look at that, look at that. The price range from $70, no, it's not $70. $600. Pyro, babe, calm down. Let's get back to spooning, honey bun. $600. And that's not to go around the world. 13 days to go around the world in a hot air balloon. Dude, hot air balloons scare me so much though. Like I like big inflated things, but like like being that high up in the air and literally just just like a basket. Like your your nan's basket that she brings on a picnic, that that's that's scary. Like that should that's not normal. And the camera, no clip. Surely they'd just lie at this point, right? And just be like, ah, they're all dead. Yeah, we, we heard them scream and they said, don't come down here. No, you're going to die. So, you know, we didn't. Like, you leave, you don't put yourself in any risk, and then you get the 500k. That's like an XQC gambling stream for just walking down a corridor. Like, like that is such good money. Just do that. That's what I'd do. Okay. Now we're in Outlast. There's going to be something with like glowing green eyes because of the night vision. Now it's found footage, shaky camera. Bro, that's been the entire thing after the opening. All right, it's all been down. found footage. Uh, looks like the camera just came back up, so we'll go ahead and let you know what it looks like in our end, over. All right, that should be the bottom. Oh, damn, okay. Definitely fits the description. 
Yeah, and I'm sure it smells lovely down there, too. I'm guessing one of you guys dropped that down there? Yeah, I dropped one down earlier. I wanted to see how deep it went. Section, this is Miller. We've Someone in chat said this is boring. They said the video is boring. Look, I, I know it's a backrooms video, bro, but sometimes you got to build a little bit of atmosphere. You can't just say, wait a minute, a backrooms video and there isn't a spooky long spaghetti monster in the first 10 seconds? Eh. Like, what has TikTok done for this generation, man? We are screwed. We're done. Camera. Wait, no dopamine in the first five seconds? Now nah, it's over. I'm skipping. Down and got brief footage at the bottom. Like, okay, bro. Okay, okay. I tell you what. Let me, let me, let me, let me. It's okay. Let me fix this for you. I have the perfect video for you that I can play in the corner just to keep your serotonin going because your brain is just so cooked. Okay? So don't worry about that. I got you. I got you. All right, so we're just going to have this in the corner while we're playing this, okay? I think pretty much matches their description. Baby Gronk kind of to commit to LSU. Baby Gronk is the number one so college football right prospect in the though. country. So he so averages 300 yards down. and five touchdowns a game. On his visit to LSU, Livy raised him up. Livy even hugged Baby Gronk, who might be the new Riz King. Do you think Baby Gronk will lead LSU to a national championship? Why does he look like that? Voices kept cutting in and out, so we got no idea. So soulless, man. Livy Dunn was just rizzing up Baby Gronk, and he went to LSU. Livy rizzed him up, and Baby Gronk is the prospect quarterback for LSU. Like, like does, does he blink? Does he blink? Does he need to update his iOS? Like, like what? Just no zero expression. The I, I swear the, the these like these shorts merchants that have like invaded YouTube like a plague. They just they they grown in like a vat, bro. It's crazy. If they were reading us clearly, although that was about half an hour ago, and it's been pretty much silent since then. All right, we'll go ahead and start setting up to rope down, and we'll try to get down there as fast as we can. Let us know if you hear anything. Over. Copy. We'll keep you posted. Well, hopefully they go down there and they riz up whoever's left. Hey, Miller, you might be asking why we set up three. I wasn't exactly planning on sharing a line with someone. Say. All right, quiet. Listen up. Change your plans. Hudson, I need you to stay up here in case anything goes wrong. We need something while we're down there. If you don't hear from us within an hour, then go back and get help because something's gone wrong. Okay. Hudson gets to stay on the surface. He will be the only one to live, or he'll be the first to die. All right, yes, sir. Sounds good. Everyone else, get set up. You're with me. Everyone else, you're gonna die. Dude, dude, dude. What? What if? What if it stacks? Right? You know how you get people in Hell Divers too that like kill other Hell Divers so they can steal their like materials. Like, imagine if. The guy that survives, he gets all the money. It's like a Mr. Beast challenge. So he actually gets 2 mil instead of 500k. Okay, let him cook. This might be a good- this might be a good idea. How's it going, bro? Porn here. Today we will be bullying Jacob Sartorius 2024, baby Grand Prix Duplizzi. I just made a GoFundMe to keep track and even if it puts me in perpetual debt, I will see you bald, gnome. You're making a GoFundMe to make me go bald. Link, link the GoFundMe. Ready. Ready. Alright, everyone good? Think so. Let's knock this down. Section, this is Miller. We're ready to make our descent down. Copy that. Godspeed, guys. Good luck, you guys. Be safe down there. All right, here we go. They're gonna die. There is no way they're coming out of this alive. There is no way. Section, this is 
Miller. We've reached the bottom. No sign of the researchers anywhere. Any updates on your own? Did he look so like Django Fett from the side? Negative. No response. Looks like they've gone dark again. Pyro's situation is reading. insane. Looks like it's still on the He has basically spot. become a Minecraft well, with YouTuber said, with how he likes to watch videos while. of kids. Okay, Sad Roger to see that. a one-hit wonder Let's go so soon. the mission soon. and see if you can find them. If they're dead, we need to make sure. All right, copy that. There's like black Who's shit on the walls. The truth. You're telling me. All right, get tactical. Let's fan out and find them. Okay, it's like that reminded me of Ready or Not. So they're definitely going to accidentally shoot each other in the head mm. and get no arrests. That's what happens every single Clear. game. Which way do we go? It's reading like we got to take a right. Question is, which right? Wait, look. Some blood down that way. Holy shit. Okay, call well, it. Call it. That's it. That helps narrow it down. That's it. Yeah. Look at all that blood like on the floor. And they're still going. Are you silly? Bro, it's not a Mr. Beast challenge where you have to keep going. Just call it now. Just leave it. Just get out of there. Well, they and Why would you keep pushing it? Fall. No, like, this is a lot of blood, Miller. Could be a mix of everyone's blood. You're just not one person. It could be a mix of everyone's blood. He said that so nonchalantly. It's like, this is a lot of blood. Uh, we should get out of here. Uh, it could be four dead people. It, it's fine. Just keep going. Clear. Clear. Which way now? It's reading like we gotta go right. Yeah, but the blood trail goes this way. <sighs> All right, let's split up. Shannon, keep following the tra trail. Let us know where it leads. Me and Jack will head down this way and find the beacon. All right. Gang, let's split up. Wait, are they actually doing the Scooby-Doo bit? I, I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> All right, let's split up. <laughs> Zoinks! Keep following the trail. Let us know where it leads. Actually, let's split up our move. That is so stupid. Me and Jack will head down this way and find the beacon. All right, got it. Hey, so, uh... You know how this room is like unmarked and it could be very dangerous. So, uh, Shaggy, Scooby, you go towards the blood trail that even the GPS shows absolutely nothing there apart from death and misery. Uh, me and Velma, we're just going to go down the, the corridor and just start fucking each other. How far away is it? It says we're like right on top of it. So keep your eyes peeled. What the hell? Miller, check this out. It's right here. Oh shit. Why would they do that? They're gonna die. They're gonna die. Like, like, yeah, like, like, four man squad, yeah. there's a chance. But where's the team? <laughs> so, someone said every Scooby Doo episode. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Why leave it here and go somewhere else? Uh, guys? Yeah? Come take a look at this. Oh, yeah, there's mimics, isn't there, in the back rooms? One of the researchers' suits. Looks like they tore themselves out of it or something? Probably. They tore themselves out of it. The... <laughs> they're, they're really doing like leaps and bounds to just not call it a day. They really don't want free money. I, I don't know what is wrong with these people. They just do not want free money. Get stuck. They've been stuck down here a while. I'd imagine these things get uncomfortable. Yeah, but why go through the visor like this? I mean, it's completely smashed up and there's blood everywhere. Come take a look at this, our death. <laughs> Everywhere. Well, either way, we better get moving. I mean, what What do you mean? Maybe he crawled out of it? What, through through the fucking visor? He crawled out through the visor like that? Like that terrifying monster in Pan's Labyrinth? Smashed up and there's blood everywhere. Well, either way, we better get moving. They're cutting bleeding and then... It's so genius how uninterested he sounds. Uh, well, we better get moving. Means we're even more pressed for time to contact. Twelve o'clock. Hey, don't move! Please, 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 Okay, okay, relax. I think, I think okay. she might be a mimic, guys. guys. Uh, are you injured? I am actually. I was able to walk back. I heard you guys coming, so I tried to make it back on my own. Where's the rest of your team? No, what, what you should be asking is why do you sound like that? Why do you sound like you're talking through an Xbox 360 headset? Why do you sound like you're talking through a Logitech webcam?
That makes zero sense. Like, like there is way too much echo amplified to her voice. Okay, if he had any brain cells, he'd be like, uh, you talk funny, and then he just guns her down. Like, you can even hear the voice being distorted. That, that's not her. We'll follow you. Whoa, 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 guys, hold up. What? What do you mean, hold up? They need our help. Something's not right about this. Okay, Cam cameraman has a brain cell. Grace. Grace Williams. No, that's... She's not moving her lips. What? She's... She's not moving her mouth. What? Are you guys gonna help us out or not? Holy shit, you're right. Sure in the head, sure in the head, sure in the head. Sure in the head! Alright, everyone, stay calm. Two positions. Okay, they're dead. They're dead. Open fire! They're dead. What? Why did it fall over? How did it fall over? Bro, did the SCP put a banana peel on the floor for him? Like, like he didn't, he just fell over. Yeah. Yeah, they did. I would, I would run. I would run. I would run. Okay, ca cameraman actually has some level of self-preservation. Also, what, why, why did it bait them out like that if it's not even being affected by bullets? Like, like they were unloading onto it and it wasn't even flinching. Like, this thing is just being a little troll. He's gonna make, he's gonna make it, boys. He's gonna get the five hundred k. Surely. He's the last person to survive Squid Game. Surely he's gonna make it. Damn it, no, not now! He wanted to prank them. Hudson! Hudson! Hudson's dead. He's dead. Hudson's dead. Bro had one job. Is he like playing Flappy Bird on his phone? Oh, I'll be climbing the rope. Where, where is Hudson? Hudson! Hudson, pull me up! Bro, he's on his phone playing Flappy Bird. What is he doing? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Hang on, I got you. Hudson, Hudson, let me go! Does he have a gun? No, no, fuck that, man. You're not going anywhere. He's a, he's a real one. He's a real one. Just shoot it. Okay, let him, let him cook. Let him cook. Okay, this might work. Dude. That was... <laughs> that was the hardest carry I've seen. Like, he took his time. Dude, this guy's like level 50 on Helldivers. Like, he took his time. He knew he was going to clutch that. Like, he, he, he was sitting there just on his phone. He's like, oh, the guy needs help? Yeah, just give me a minute. Yeah, just give me a minute. Oh, give me your gun? Yeah. Cheers, mate. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's like, he's going to tap my leg off, help! And then he's like, yeah, yeah, just hold still. Hold still. All right, what happened? It was a trap. It was a fucking trap and we were set up. This whole thing was a oh, fucking trap. It's the guy that looks like right Graves as well. So it's actually so fitting. They're dead. They're all dead. Oh, no. <laughs> the rest are, are dead because of me. All because of me. Oh, shit. Holy oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, Hudson. God. Hudson. Right, just, just try to relax, okay? Put some carry in that W right now. You're telling me to relax? How am I supposed to relax when I'm the reason Miller and Shannon are dead? Because I couldn't stand my ground. No, I had to run like a fucking coward. Chat right now is saying boo-hoo. Like he... <laughs>
<laughs> he just lost his entire squad down there. He's like the only survivor and chat saying boohoo. How the fuck do you expect me to relax? Cool it right now before you bleed out in front of me. That wasn't your fault, all right? You did the best you could. Do that because of that fucking thing, not you, okay? Don't blame yourself. Womp, womp. You please relax before I lose you too. Womp, womp. Uh, there. Should hold for now. Section, this is Hudson. Jackson made it out. He's alive, but he's severely wounded. I managed to get him stable, but I need a professional down here now. Miller and Shannon are dead. Oblivion voice acting. And else is down there. Oblivion voice acting? I, I think the voice acting is really good. I have not had a problem with the voice acting. It, it's nowhere near as good as my performance in Hunt Down the Freeman, but it's still it's still definitely up there. I think I think it's still pretty good. Womp womp. TikTok acting. Nah. I think it's I think it's good. I think it's I think it's really good. I don't have I don't have a problem with it at all. Something we sure as hell weren't ready for. Whole thing was Someone said Darman acting like it's a Darman video. You are joking, right? You are joking. It was a goddamn setup and we fell right into it. They 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 use the researchers like fucking ragdolls, like puppets. They mimic their voices. Also, two questions. One, why have they not cut the rope? That thing climbed up one of the ropes to get to them. Get good at the game, Stinky. Why have they not get cut all the ropes off? And also, secondly, does this mean they get a million dollars each? They're the only two people to survive. So surely a million dollars each. I don't think they survived the fall. I don't think they were ever alive down there. Roger that. Sending medical down to assist. There's no way they were alive. Like, like that fall, as soon as they dropped that glow stick down there and saw like the sheer drop, they must have just gone like, oh, no, they're dead. All right, 500K, please. I'm sorry for your loss down there. Over. Reaping forgot to mention the Gooning Cave Guard God, the friendliest pit bull. Be careful, so rolling. It might be damaged, but I think so. I don't know. Go check. Yeah, that's it. That's really good. I'm happy that that didn't end on like a jump scare as well, because that would have been like really, really lame if that ended on like some kind of jump scare. He made a GoFundMe and he put 100k. A much needed restart on his hair. I've been watching Paris since I was a lonely child. I'm now a lonely adult and believe that it is my responsibility to give back to the worst influencer since Bill Cosby. He's unfortunately unable to find a good barber and as a result needed to resort to homebrew methods to keep his hair alive. <gasps> What do you mean my hair is good? There's nothing wrong with my hair.